What's going on, Dub Nation? It's your boy, A-Dub. Um, good morning, everybody. Afternoon or evening by the time you guys are seeing this video. But um, I'm on my way to work. It is 9.30 in the morning. Uh, 9.29 to be exact in the morning. And I'm running a little bit late. Um, I'm supposed to be there at 10 o'clock. Got to work today, 10 to 6. Then after that, going to the movies. Uh, I think we're going to go see Aladdin. Kind of late, but that's been my thing lately watching movies late but um i want to yeah this this is what I, I wear a shirt and a tie when i go to work um for those of you who don't know i'm a ticket agent now at amtrak I, as a matter of fact i don't think any of you guys know i'm a ticket agent at amtrak i sell tickets um at amtrak so that's what i do that's my uh, normal job right now great position great staff i actually love the people that i work with um, and it's cool. It's cool. Cool environment in the ticket office specifically. So, um, guys, I want to make this vlog real fast. It's quick entry into today's vlog, rather, because it's not going to be just one vlog. Um, quick entry in today's vlog about speaking about the DR, Dominican Republic, man. Like, um, a lot of people have been dying in the Dominican Republic, and uh, I'm trying to focus real fast. And um, I can relate to it because I've been to the Dominican Republic and the one time I went there, I got sick. Um, I'm gonna do another vlog where I specifically address this and talk about it, but anybody who's going to DR, I, I advise you just to reconsider it and not go. Because um, I didn't get sick to the point where I thought I was gonna die, but I got sick to the point where it significantly uh, affected my trip and it was one of the things that led me to uh, not ever wanna visit DR again. Um, so, what happened with me is uh, when I went to DR, I made the tragic mistake, and I already knew not to drink the water and stuff like that. But what happened was not drinking the water also includes not when you brush your teeth. You're so used to, and it's so like easy to just go to the sink, you know, put the toothpaste on, dab your toothbrush with some water, and just start brushing your teeth. And you know, after you're done, you know, you rinse your mouth out with the water in the sink. So. That's what I think specifically got me sick when I when I went to DR. But I was thinking um, when I got back, I'm like, so you mean you tell me these countries, right, that depend on tourism and have all-inclusive packages all the time? This camera's getting super heavy. Have all-inclusive packages all the time? You mean to tell me in the kitchen because non-potable water, non-potable is non-potable. So you mean to tell me you're using bottled water or potable water? to uh prepare our food because non-potable water you're not even supposed to use to prepare foods so i just can't believe that these countries in their with their all include well not these countries this country dominican republic speaking specifically about um is using non-potable water to um prepare the food i mean i know that like boiling water um kills germs or whatever but i don't know i mean they're also making beverages like lemonades and stuff like that. And if you want ice in your drink, you mean to tell me you're using non-potable water to, uh, or you're boiling your water before you freeze it to make ice cubes because all that water is just gonna do is um, melt into your drink and you're gonna drink it anyway. But we don't know specifically why these people are dying. They're saying, uh, I've heard reports saying that uh, it's bootleg alcohol and stuff like that, but I don't know. I don't know. I, the, you know, the news, they don't necessarily know or they don't necessarily tell the truth all the time in the countries, the country rather. Some things might have to be kept under wraps because it might devastate their tourism. And tourism is huge in small islands. You know, my, 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 my parents are from islands. I am personally, a, a, I'm a citizen of an island, Dominica. You know, I'm in the, the, nature, the nature island of the Caribbean. Shout out to y'all, everybody from Dominica. Not Dominican Republic, two different places, but you know, I'm a citizen of Dominica. I'm also a United States citizen. I have two dual, dual citizenships. I have two passports. But I know how important it is and how important, it, how, how a community can strive from tourism because tourists come and regardless of what you guys think, you might not spend that much money on vacation, but your money goes a long way when it comes to uh, uh, spend, spending money on vacation. Any little bit of US dollars you spend, it goes a lot farther than you guys could ever imagine. So um, a lot of cover-up goes into this stuff and a lot of truth 
is not being told. So uh, just be cautious when you're, if you're planning or I don't know why you would be, but you can't pay me to go to Dominican Republic. You can't pay me to go anywhere where I know for a fact people are dropping dead for no reason, unexplained. Like, you know, just for, it's one thing if, you know, it's a violent place and obviously you're not gonna go there, but you know, if people are dropping dead from simple things, just living, eating food, just like, you know, drinking alcohol, like stuff that you're not supposed to drop dead from, like why would you even consider visiting that place or, or patronizing that place, you know what I mean? So they gotta figure this stuff out and I hope Dominican Republic can figure this out before it's too late and like rectify the problem because I mean, even if they figure it out, truth be told, I'm not, I still don't plan, I still have no desire to go there because of other issues that they, that they face um, in the DR, like racism specifically, let's just be honest, because I experienced racism, not personally, but I, I saw it while I was at my resort. Like um, the light-skinned Dominicans treated the dark-skinned Dominicans like crap, you know? And Haiti is connected to the Dominican Republic and Haiti is highly, highly uh, impoverished. But I heard it's a beautiful country, um, great beaches and stuff like that. I guess the resort area and I've seen pictures, but um, there's also some largely poverty striking areas and and it's you know and it's sad you know what i mean just because of the color of their skin and stuff like that that, that, that uh, they get treated like that so um i have no desire i had no desire to go back um before my uh before this started stuff started happening now icing on the cake guys but uh, that's that's all i'm gonna say uh, about that right now because i'm gonna make a whole vlog and show pictures and video of when I was in the DR and stuff like that on this topic, uh, maybe, maybe uh, in a couple days or so. So um, I just want to start this vlog off with that, guys. Sorry, I started off on such a negative note, but I'm on my way to work, and we're gonna pick this up probably uh, after I uh, get home from work, get off of work, or whatever. So see you guys later. It's your boy.